am coming to you today with a cannibal water. I promised that I would do a video of the remaining part of our junk box series from the last video. And I really wanted to turn this cattle bowl water into a water fountain. So it took a little while for my submersible pump to come, but it came. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. Um, first off, this is very rusty and crusty. Um, so what I did is I took a wire brush and I already um, brushed a lot of the uh, rust and dust off and washed it up and let it dry. So, but I'm worried about if I just put a fountain in here, the rust would, it would continue to rust and make the water rusty. But first I thought I would paint it with um, marine paint, but marine paint is pretty expensive for a little project like this. So I decided that um, I would try this flex steel liquid rubber sealant coating. Um, and this was just, I happened to find this in the Walmart aisle with the marine paint um, and plumbing supplies. Uh, and it was on sale. So it was on sale for like $11, which is probably not normal. But since I found it, and I'm, I'm just gonna give it a try. And then on the outside, I'm going to paint it with this 2X uh, Rust-Oleum Satin Paint and Primer um, in black. And so the whole thing is going to be black. I normally love the rusty look, but I thought it would be still a cute farmhouse look just to do black. Um, and then for this pipe, see how that pipe just open like that I thought it would be cute to put some sort of spigot on there even though even if it's not functional um, I thought it would be cool to put one of these old faucets on there so I grabbed I have these at the boutique at, um, like a collection of them for sale and so I grabbed two that I thought might work um, this one is super cute I wish it would have worked but it just isn't um, I would have to find an adapter um, and they usually, if my pipe is not threaded, so I would either have to have a pipe threader or use a rubber adapter in between and so it just isn't very practical and quick. So I chose to use this one which is still really cute and it just, I mean it's a false. I mean, it's just for looks. So what I'm going to do is, after I paint it up, I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint this or not. I don't know. It's kind of cute with the colors as is the galvanized. I'll see what it looks like. First I'll paint the base black, but I might just leave those colors on the spigot like that. But doesn't that look, look super cute? So before I started painting my cattle bowl, I wanted to see if the submersible pump worked with it. So I took it out of the box and found a plastic hose. And I think this is for, for if you wanna do a bubbling effect for it. And then the pump comes with two little attachments for the top and has three suction cups on the bottom so you can place it easily um, and suction it and secure it to wherever you need to. And the little attachments that you can attach to the top either cause the water to flow to the side or um, upward. And I chose the upward because I wanted a fountain effect with it. And it also has an adjustment, so you can adjust the height of your fountain. Then I spray painted the outside of the cattle bowl and I ended up doing two coats. After those two coats dried, I tipped the cattle bowl over and continued to get the edge and the pipe 
and all the little crevices. So I mixed up the Flex Seal paint and painted the inside of the bowl. It's very thick and you probably want to make sure you can throw away your brush and I would recommend wearing gloves. I got some on my, my hands and it was hard to get off. I let this dry overnight and I came back and was really surprised with the results. It looked like paint, it did not look like rubber, but when you touch it, it has, it definitely feels like rubber. It's, it's kind of cool. So then to attach the faucet, I just used E6000 and my glue was actually black, so it matched the bowl and all the paint finishes. And then I suctioned the pump to the bottom of the bowl and it worked out perfect that the cord was black so it blends in well and I took a zip tie and zip tied it to the pipe in the back and you can barely see it or notice it. And I just had some leftover rock that left from another project and I decided to use it. It has a few different types of rock but that's the whole idea of Beautiful Salvage is using what you have. So this is what I had. I suppose if you want a different rock you can go find some but I, I liked the way that the white popped with the black and then to add some fresh appeal I just put some greenery in that I had laying around I suppose you could use aquatic greenery if you had it on hand um, but this is what I had so I used this and it's so cute I will definitely be doing more fountains after seeing how this turns out.